and you were paying attention and you already know what I forgot to do before I stuck it in the oven. This recipe is coming from my favorite cookbook. Recipes from friends and family. We're going to use this top recipe right here. We'll bring it way in. Peanut butter pie from Mrs. Dale Harms. Viola. Alright, the first thing we do is we mix three quarters cup powdered sugar, which I have right here, with a half a cup of peanut butter, which I've measured right here. We'll pop that out. And give it a little scrape. Love this gadget. I'll put a link to this down in the description. You'll love it too. You can use it for solids or liquids. Alright, so we will mix this as much as we can. This is probably not the right tool. Let me grab a spoon. Well, our weather has changed. We had a cold front come through. And I say that jokingly. Because all that really means is that it's going to be 86 today instead of 96. On the 10th of October. So, yes, a lot of the things that I'm planting in my fall garden are still not in the garden yet. They're still in the seedling trays. Now if you haven't seen this cookbook before, I got this one. It's the first cookbook I ever owned. I got it when I got married 50, 40 years ago. 40 years ago, yeah, 40. I'm not that old. I'm old enough. Forty years ago, I got this cookbook from my mother-in-law, and it is a collaboration between the Kansas Mennonite ladies and the Alabama Mennonite ladies, and they got together and made this really awesome cookbook. The recipes, the the thing I like the most about the recipes is they don't call for really strange items. Just every day. And this one, this recipe, you could make probably from what you already have on hand. Uh, yesterday I made the pie crust. It's just a 9 inch pie crust. And baked it, docked it and baked it. Regular pie crust. It's a Crisco. Crisco crust. And then for the filling, it's peanut butter, sugar, cornstarch, flour, pinch of salt, eggs, milk, butter, vanilla, cream of tartar. Now I'm going to get my hands in this. Make it into little pebbles. I've never made this recipe before, but I've been craving peanut butter. So I thought this one might be yummy. So you're supposed to mix together the powdered sugar and peanut butter until crumbly. And I used uh, crunchy peanut butter just for a little extra texture.
think we're pretty crumbly. What do you think? I would call that crumbly. So then it says to put half the mixture into the pie shell. So I will bring over my pie shell and we'll figure out how much is half. I think I'm going to crumble this a little bit finer because this is what gets um, this is what gets sprinkled on top of the meringue before it gets baked. Okay, I think that's about half. If I need to, I'll crumble that a little bit more later. over to the side. Now the next part says to begin heating two cups of the milk. Three, there's three cups total. And I made powdered milk yesterday. just because I didn't, I don't have quite three cups of milk in my carton. So let's measure out two cups of milk. And put it in our saucepan. I'll put this on the stove and start heating it. Put it down on a medium low setting. Now let's double check and make sure I still have a cup left. Not quite, so I'll add a little water to that. There's my one cup remaining milk. All right, now we have our sugar. We have two thirds cup sugar, which is exactly how much that is. We have Three tablespoons cornstarch. Well, that likes to stick, doesn't it? tablespoon of flour. <clears throat> Pinch of salt. We'll 
three egg yolks. Bring our eggs over here. We'll be making a meringue, so I'm going to put my egg whites into my mixer bowl. First, I'm going to give the give that dry mixture a little bit of a whisk. There, that should be good. Now let's separate our eggs. It's okay to get a little bit of white in with the yolks, but it's not okay to get the yolk in with the white. And then we use our eggshell to get the other piece, the piece that broke off, out of there. See? That's the best thing to use. If you put your finger in there, you'll be chasing that piece of shell around for hours. Well, maybe not for hours, but for a lot longer than you want. So we've got our egg whites that I'm going to set aside for the meringue. And we can move our egg skelter out of the way. Bring this over here. And I'm going to slowly blend in the one cup milk. I think we can just go ahead and add the rest of it in a steady stream. Now 
we are to add this to the milk that we're heating on the stove. We'll bring our pan over here. We're supposed to cook this until well thickened. So that's what we're going to do. Let me see if I can swing the camera around. doesn't say that I have to stir it constantly, which is awesome. That makes me happy. It means I can stop and tidy up a little bit. And once this is well thickened, we remove it from the heat and add butter and vanilla. So I'm going to get the butter and the vanilla ready. Actually, I don't have to do anything to the butter. And it's a teaspoon vanilla. It doesn't really smell like anything. I've never actually eaten a peanut butter pie. Can't believe how quiet the dogs are being. They're all right here in the kitchen. Laying around my feet. All right, I will bring you back when we are well thickened. Who wants to watch paint dry, right? All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we are well thickened. I did the 
run the finger through. I'm not going to do it again because it was really hot. So I've turned off the heat. I'm going to add in our butter. Two tablespoons. Teaspoon of vanilla. Which makes everything better. I'm just going to give it a little whisk. Now we're going to pour it in our pie filling. Alright, I'll do the beginning left-handed just so you can see. Now to turn it around. Looks like I might have too much filling. All right, there we go. Let that set up a minute while we go make our meringue. That's pretty and full. All right, let's turn the camera around and make our meringue. And I'm going to preheat the oven to 325. Bring our kitchen aid over. We've got our three egg whites in our bowl already. Let's get our machine plugged in. We're going to use our whip attachment, which is this one. We'll see by the noise if I need to adjust it. No, I think it'll be fine.
So we're going to whip this up to a soft heat. You'll see. It's already starting to get foamy. We have three egg whites, if you remember. All right, that looks beautiful. Now it's time to add in our sugar. I have six tablespoons cane sugar and a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar has to help stabilize the meringue so it doesn't just deflate on you. All right. Let's put our sugar in there. And start whipping again. Start out slow so we don't fling sugar everywhere. look at it. Mm, we're ready. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so now you get to move out of the way. going to put our pie on a cookie sheet so it's a little easier for me to move it around. There we go. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, we just do big dollops all the way around. And if you've never made a meringue before, don't be intimidated. You saw how easy that was. even know if you can over mix it.
And I think my filling was too much for the pie crust because I used three jumbo extra large eggs. Because there really wasn't that much too much. So I'm going to say it was the eggs. Because they were some big ones. Now when you do, when you put the meringue on the pie and you start spreading it out, the first thing that you want to do is take it all the way so it's touching the crust. So that you're enrobing that filling to where it's not exposed. So right now I'm just pushing it down so that it touches the crust. And after that, we'll get all fancy. But this is the key. It helps it not shrink up in the oven if it's uh, tacked down to the crust. Because no, you don't want it to separate the sides. I mean, it'll still taste good. There's no, there's no problem there. But you don't really want your uh, meringue to separate from the crust and the filling. I know I'm doing this on the opposite side than what you can see. But that's because I am right-handed. Alright, now we'll start pushing it down into the pockets that we made. We can start swirling it around, make it even. Mound it up a little bit in the center. Yes, my fingers are clean. Mm. That's so good. Alright, so now we pull out a small spoon. been a long time since I've done this. I'm gonna have to remember. And our oven is ready. I'm gonna call it good. Now this goes in the this goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Or until the meringue is firm and lightly browned. So into the oven we go. Bye. Good luck.
see you later. Set my timer. All right, I will be back when it comes out of the Okay, so here's our pie out of the oven, and you were paying attention, and you already know what I forgot to do before I stuck it in the oven. I forgot to put those peanut butter crumbles on top. So when I started cleaning up over here by the sink, I saw the bowl of the peanut butter crumbles. So I yanked the pie out of the oven real quick and piled all the peanut butter crumbles on top, and you can see them. You can see them all on top. I'm going to let this cool, and in a little while, when it's time for dessert, we'll cut into it, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, and we will have a taste test. I will see you in a little while. All right, it is dessert time. Let's cut into our pie. Now you can see that beautiful crust and the custard that has the bits of peanut butter in there, the meringue, and then the crunchy peanut butter topping. Alright, let's give it a taste. That was really good. I'm glad. I'm glad I did the chunky peanut butter. Wow. That was really delicious. Alright, y'all. Peanut butter pie. Peanut, peanut butter meringue pie. Do make this. It's really delicious. I'm glad I tried it. Mmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to go in for another bite. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to. There's lots more baking in our future. Thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen today. God bless you. I will see you on the next video. Bye.